I'm Lothar Bowman, and uh, here's a little bit of advice for people that want to get into farming. First of all, I'd say it's got to be something that you love doing. Uh, you've got to be able to adapt. And uh, we have, we started out doing one thing and we are completely uh, off that track now, which eventually we'll get back to it. But, uh, you know, uh, farming is not only a uh, an occupation, but it's more than that, it's a lifestyle. And uh, you, you can experience stuff that you can't experience in other places. Uh, another thing I think, you know, and I've talked to some Amish people about this, you know, uh, you're, you're about as close to God as what you can possibly be because it, this is where life starts. And uh, I mean, you are right. You're probably at the pulse or at the heartbeat of life. And uh, that's what farming is. And uh, if you get a farm, whether it's small or large, sometimes I think I wish I could have bought uh, 40 acres of prime land and paid $10,000, $15,000 an acre for it, I'd be better off than what I have having 400 of this, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, land is something that it's not more being made, and uh, you can leave it to your children, and hopefully uh, you'll have, a person will have at least one that will follow in, in their footsteps. My name is Bryce Bonman from Lazy H Stock Farm, Paint Lake, Kentucky. Um, I think the advice I would have for someone just starting out is to to start small, um, start selling in local markets. Bef we, we operate a CSA, which is quite a commitment. Uh, I don't think that's the way to learn how to grow vegetables. You, you need to um, kind of get your feet wet, sell at the local farmer's market, have some small projects, figure out what it is that you're passionate about, and then expand from there. And that, that's what farming is to me. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a way of life and community.